What is up everybody this is Ankit from Kudeta in this video I'm going to show you the top extensions themes and settings of Visual Studio Code that is going to boost your productivity to the next level so stay tuned So now what you got to do is download Visual Studio Code on your computer and for that just search for Visual Studio Code on your browser and come to the official website of Visual Studio Code the link is down below in the description and now you have to click on this download button it says download for windows cuz i am on windows operating system if you are on mac it should show you download for mac or linux if you are on linux but if you do not get the option here it must be in this drop down so click on any of the download button here so i'm going to click on this button because it says download for windows and now it is going to redirect me to the documentation page and the download is also started so what is visual studio code visual studio code is a code editor actually a really powerful one that has some great tools that is going to increase our productivity and boost it to the next level so once it is installed just click on open like this click on open and then just install this and here's what you have to do check all these four check boxes here we have these four check boxes you must click all these four check boxes because it is going to help us in the future i'll tell you how they are going to help us later in this video but just for now click all these four check boxes and it is optional if you want to create a desktop icon you can or in this case i'm not going to create a desktop icon so i'll check all these four check boxes and click on next button and then a final install button now after uh, after clicking on this install button the installation would start and i'll wait for visual studio code to install in my computer and once it is installed i'll click on this finish button and then i'll check that launch visual studio code box so visual studio code is launched successfully and here the very first thing is i can choose the themes i can change the themes between light dark and high contrast i also have this get started page so i can like it it, it tells me about visual studio code and how can we like customize visual studio code for now just cross this and let's view this interface so here we have our activity bar where we have five icons the first one is explorer search source control run and debug and at last ext extensions so just for now click on this button that says explorer click on this button and once you click it um like a sidebar will open up and it it will contain all the files and folders that we have on our project so you can choose your folder with open folder button and once you click on that open folder it gives you the option to choose any project so let me choose like a react project from here so let me now click on select folder now uh, it says do you trust the author so yes i trust the author because i'm the author so here we have all those folders and files that you have on this project so you can it is all at one one place so like let me open app.js and then index.js so we have all these files here we can edit the files from here we have the files and folders to open from here like this now this was the installation of vs code now i'll move on to the themes of vs code because we want to beautify our our visual studio code so for that what you have to do is click on this last icon that says extensions okay and everywhere on the right side we have the shortcuts like for explorer we have control shift e and for extensions we have control shift x so you can work with the shortcuts as well now this extensions it is also known as marketplace because we have the tools like we have the plugins here that we can install and customize our visual studio code so the very first uh, thing is material theme so install this click on this material theme hit install and wait for this theme or wait for this extension to be installed on visual studio code and once it is going and once it is installed we'll apply this theme so let me open index.html once again and now the theme it is like installed and now i can choose different themes from here when i install material theme i have different variants of this theme we have material theme material theme high contrast darker darker high contrast pale night pale night high contrast and many others so we can choose any of them so we have dark themes as well light themes as well 
so for now i'll choose this dark one i kind of like this one so i'll choose this thing okay but like it, let's say you chose a you chose a wrong thing like you do not like that thing but accidentally you chose that thing now you want to change that so how can you do that just click on this gear icon at the extreme bottom left click on here and then we have something called color theme here here color theme and at right side it is the shortcut so you can use the shortcut or you can click at this button so the shortcut for windows is ctrl k followed by ctrl t so this will open up all those themes from here and if you are on a mac please uh, comment the shortcut down below so that it will help others now from here we can choose all the fonts that are installed in visual, visual studio code so we have some default themes like that are defaultly installed we have some themes that we have installed like this material theme like this community material theme okay so you can choose the themes from here so for now i'll again choose material theme darker now we have installed this theme now we have other themes as well like if you're coming from sublime text then you are definitely going to love monokai monokai because this is the theme of sublime text if you are coming from atom you can just for search for atom one dark and here you have atoms theme so you can install and apply it okay so i have this for this thing let me change this back to material theme darker this one okay now i'll change the fonts and in this video i'm going to show you with just one example that is fira code but you can just like that is an example you can install any font and then apply in vs code if you see that so let's head on to our browser and now i'll search for fonts.google.com i'll search this and in the search fonts button sorry search bar i'll search for fira code and i'll click on this now i'll click on download family button and here i have installed the fira code now i'll open it and then oh sorry not open i want to show it in folder so i'll go to file explorer download and then i think it will, it would be here um, wait, yes here we go we have fira code so we can just right click and if you are on windows 10 the option would be right here but since i'm in windows 11 i'll have to double click and then extract to fira code 1 and yes to all and i think here we go so we have this folder here so just go inside that folder and then search for the static folder and now here we have five different variants of fira code so select all right click and just open it or install it and once you install just wait for the font to be installed and once it is installed come back to v vs code and now go to settings tab and how to do that so in order to go to settings tab click on this gear icon and here settings or the shortcut is control comma so i'll press control comma or command comma i believe on mac so come here in settings tab now here you have something called font family so he, here you can change your font family so i'll add fira code at first and then add a comma to separate these fonts and why two fonts because the first font is the font that you want to apply but if accidentally you uninstall or the font is not found then it will move on to the second font so now it works like that but still we have not got fira code here why because i think we have to restart visual studio code so uh, cross cross that and then again visual studio code and here we go the font is applied here we have fira code now if you want like another font uh, let's say cascadia code it is also a great font so search for cascadia code font download and by the way every link that i'm showing here would be available in the description down below so you do not have to worry about the link so i'll search for cascadia code font download click on the first link here we have releases i'll click on that and i believe yes here so here we have the font so we can download it from here so you can do it and the link would be in the description so you can do it but as i've shown you fira code so i'll not waste the time by showing cascadia code you can add any font just like this now after adding the fonts i again want to come to settings tab and search for line height 
and now what is line height so let me open it side by side and let me close the sidebar by the way the shortcut to toggle sidebar is ctrl b or command v in mac i believe now in the settings tab i searched for line height and uh, line height do i get wait okay i again have to search for line height here we go now the by default the line height is zero so i can change it to one see what happened if we wrote one now let me choose two uh, like from here two so this is the space between the lines like the length of the lines one is one is 16 pixels because uh, sorry the font uh, the font size i believe what is that uh, i do not remember but let's say if the font size is 14 pixels then one means 14 pixels if we write two here then the height of one line would be two times 14 pixels and that would be 28 pixels if we write three here it would be three times 14 pixels so this increases the height of the line but if we increase it all the way to let's say eight then see what happens now it is no longer eight times the uh, font size or eight times 14 it is just eight pixels if we write seven then it is seven times 14 pixels or seven times the font size so this is the height of a line okay so let me change it back to like three because it is too much so three i kind of like this one because it is like it separates the lines and we have a good amount here so three is a suitable place for me now i'll close this and i again no okay and after this all has been set up the next thing the next setting that i want to talk is the font ligatures but before that i again want to open my settings tab by control comma and i'll search for mouse wheel zoom this helps me a lot while creating the videos because if i uh, like check this box now if i press ctrl and then scroll up or down it helps me to zoom in or zoom out so now i was talking about font ligatures so what are font ligatures so for that just again go to settings tab search for font ligatures and then go to edit and settings.json here if you have something like editor.fontligatures then change false to true or if you do not have if you do not have that then you will have to write a code that is editor.fontligatures and then set it to true if it is false by default set it to true just set this to true and now what would happen see here did it notice any change let me do that again so i'll open the settings.json here let me zoom it a bit zoom out sorry and now i'll change this true to false then save that just notice here just notice at this comment okay so we have two hyphens and then a greater than sign but as soon as i change false to true and hit save just see here Control s and here we go the change is here so these are font ligatures like let me again add a comment here and we have not equals to we have equals to we have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to we have um, something like www and we have a bunch of them so these all are font ligatures if i just disable this font ligatures if i set it to false then see these are how it defaultly looks now if i change false to true back then these are the font ligatures so this is like it depends on the font that if the font supports font ligatures then it will happen like fida code supports font ligature so i like kind of this font and cascadia code supports this as well so i like that font as well so these this all depends on font and then the setting that you do okay so okay this is font ligatures and now the next thing is some extensions that will not beautify our code but still it will increase uh, boost our productivity so the very first thing is prettier so this is one of my favorite extension why because like let me just install this prettier this is a code formatter by the way so if it is installed and now we often go through our bad indentations and oh i had my mic okay and like this like <laughs> if you have any indentation like this and 
you have to just change your indentation like you know what is the essence of indentation in your code but if you are very bad at maintaining indentations so after installing that pretty code format or what you can go, do is go to your settings tab and then search for default formatter and then change this none to prettier here we go and then one more thing format on save search for that and check this checkbox and now if you just hit save like control s boom it is now very beautiful so like i have a very bad indentation here at this point and i want to fix it up because we know the sense of indentation but i cannot do like it would take a while to fix it up so what i can do is just control s and boom this is because of prettier and the two uh, two settings that we just did so let me recap those settings format on save check this checkbox then default formatter and then choose prettier code formatter from here now this was prettier the next one is live server and what is live server so to demonstrate what is live server i'll first install it and then i'll have to choose another project for that just because i'm on a react app i'll have to go to default uh, sorry normal index and index or sorry html document so to do that what i'll do what i'm going to do is open folder and then i'll choose any other thing like from here i'll go to code like this and like let me choose this query app from here here we go this actually the authors and okay so we have this let me change this i do not want that i want quiz and inside this we have quiz app so i want that now i'll select folder and then here we go now i just installed um, live server i just installed live server extension and once we install that we have an option at bottom that says go live so click on this button that says go live and once you click that boom here we go we have our website live now what what, what uh, how it helps is let me open it at one side and visual studio code at another side like this and i'll tell you now how does it help us so like let me go to index.html and then write something like lorem and then save so as soon as we hit save the page will automatically reload with all those changes see the change has come here i did not reload this page since see, see i'll create an anchor tag and i'll add hashtag and something here and then as soon as i hit control s as soon as i save my file the page would be reloaded reloaded itself here we go like this so this is a, this is a pretty cool extensions and this is a pretty cool extension and i also love this extension as well so that was live server now we'll move on to auto rename tag and i'll install this one auto rename tag is again another cool extension we can just say like if we have anchored and uh, anchor tag and i want to change this anchor tag to a span so if we did not have that extension so it will have to like write span here and at here as well but if we have auto rename tag enabled we can write like in any of the opening or closing tag we can change this tag to something or anything of your wish and that is going to change the name of the tag on opening and closing tag both okay so this is the power of auto rename tag so let me change this back again to anchor tag and it will again change this to anchor tag now let me remove those and here we go so i think this was it for the extensions for the themes and for the settings and i i think that you love this video if you did hit that like button down below make sure you are subscribed to our channel and press that bell icon to get the instant notification of our latest videos thank you for watching